the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 51, Numbers 18-19 The Shadow of a Good Deed God separated and raised priests and the Levites to give them both privilege and mission in keeping with their positions and establishing a covenant. First point. There are five steps in setting up a kingdom of priests. Numbers chapter 18 once again summarizes how God established a kingdom of priests with his people. The priests were given special garments in order to fulfill their tasks. To break down the five steps, the first step was making of the priests' garments. The second was God's fire that consumed the first ever offering made by Aaron. The third was God forbidding Aaron to show sadness after the death of his two sons, Nadab and Abihu. The fourth was the death of the 250 people who rebelled against Moses. The fifth was the competition between the 12 staffs. As such, these five episodes all show just how difficult it was to set up a kingdom of priests. Second point, Moses continuously kneeled down in order to raise the position of the priests. If Moses had just become king, as the 250 people thought he was trying to become, it may have been easier for him to gain control and to command the Israel nation. But the reason Moses put his all towards a kingdom of priests was because he knew the depth of God's forgiveness. Moses, as he confessed, did not take a single donkey from the people because he truly was a servant of God. God was able to set up a kingdom of priests through such efforts of Moses. Third point to the priests, the function of the tribe of Levi was God's gift. Amongst the tribe of Levi, the descendants of Aaron were appointed as the priests, and the descendants of Kohath, Gaussian, and Merari were appointed to help out in the tabernacle. If the priests had to do everything by themselves, it would have been very difficult to operate the five offerings. Thus, God appointed the descendants of Koath, Gaussian, and Merari to undertake other tasks. That is why the Levites were a gift to the priests from God. A thread needs a needle like the two sides to a coin. Doing God's work has no high or low. One needs to understand that their law, whatever in scope, is important if given by God. Fourth point, even the Levites had to offer tithe. The Levites also had to follow the laws in the kingdom of priests by offering their tithe. God gave the tithe from the 12 tribes of Israel to the priests. This was so that the priests may also earn an income. The tithe of the 12 tribes of Israel were to be used to cover the living expenses of the Levites to look after the tabernacle and also for aid. But the Levites were expected to offer tithe themselves received from the tithe from the 12 tribes of Israel. Fifth point. Being pre-examined could lessen the problem in the long term. More so than being concerned with the unclean foods, God was more concerned 
about the effect it had on the human body. Hence, God told the priestess to examine the good before making the offering. God was consistently concerned that it might damage human health. At around the time, some countries practiced preserving the body for a long time, such as Egypt. But for the Israel nation, God ordered the people to be buried within 24 hours of their death. This was in order to stay hygienic and to quickly make sure that no one was infected. The reference to something or someone being unclean in the Bible was in the same context as God's command for humans to be fruitful and multiply in number. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 